Hello everyone. In this video we are going to make the flicker effect for lights, which is often used in horror games. We will use two different methods. One is the commonly used light function, the other is to create a blueprint and get a much more random effect. Let's start with the first method. We create a material for the light function. Here we select the material domain light function from the left menu. As you can see, only the emissive color option is left. First we call time node. Then we call the multiply node. We need a constant value for B. If you hold down one key and click the mouse, you can reach this node. Right click and select convert to parameter. It will be called speed. We will control the flickering speed of the light here. Let the value be one for now. Then we call the sine node and then the frac node. Now we need to clamp the light intensity between two values. We need two more constant values for minimum and maximum values. Let's turn them both into parameters and name them. Let the maximum be 1 and the minimum be 0. Let's connect the result to the emissive color. Now let's do an experiment on our scene. Let's create an instance of the material and add it to the light function material of our light source. Actually, this method works, but I want more random flickering. Now, move on to the blueprint version. Let's create a blueprint actor. Let's go inside the blueprint and add a light. You can add any type of light you want. Let's go to the construction script tab. Take the light and connect it to the set intensity node. Now assign the new intensity value to a variable and give it a default value. Let's go to event graph and connect the retriggerable delay node to event begin play. This node will change the intensity of the light every time it is called. Now connect a random float in range node to duration and assign the minimum and maximum values to a variable. We can give default values to both. Let's connect flip-flop node to complete it. The retriggerable delay node will switch between A and B every time it runs. At output A, we will set the intensity of the light. Let's create a variable for new intensity. This will be the minimum value. Let's do the same for output B. Here the variable will be the intensity value we created before. So we will randomize between two different values. Finally, we will go back to the retriggerable delay node so that it works again.
finally, don't forget to make all variables editable. Let's add the blueprint to the scene. On the right side, under the default tab, you can change all the values as you like and get different results. If you're finding value in these tutorials, hit that subscribe button and drop a like if you love the content. You can also ring the bell to stay updated. See you in the restaurant at the end of the universe.